Hey, what's up, Bruce? What's up, Michael? You're you're uh you're one of those self-taught drummers, is that right? What gave it away? It's uh, it's skill, right? Yeah, I mean you're using your ear, I can tell. Well, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's been it's been something I've been practicing in my own head. You know, uh, I don't know, I could probably show you a couple things if you're interested. Oh Michael, that'd be great. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. So it starts on cat, ends on dog. Is, is this Battlefield Earth? Ah, uh, clo close. <laughs> Sound like that. I, I swear that's what I was doing. Yeah, you were close. I think you were like a Fred off, maybe, or something. I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> yeah, Fred. Oh, yeah, we, we need to talk about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, we, so. we need to start working. Obviously, guys, you see I'm sitting here with Michael Waski from Ken Island Academy of Music, and I'm trying to learn a lot of stuff, and you seem like the right guy to come to. I teach all sorts of instruments, guitar, bass, drums, uh, ukulele, mandolin. So it must be different styles, right? Because you you say you're teaching young, you're teaching older. Yeah. So it must be ranging abilities and your different teaching techniques you do? Yeah, definitely. So um, children who, who are kind of open to whatever, they don't necessarily have anything that they are interested in So um, already. So you can kind of introduce them to things and see what they like and what sticks. And then um, seems like more like teenage, usually, mm -hmm. um, students who are like maybe trying to go to college for music yeah, or that sort of thing. focused yeah, yeah so I'll be you know I'll be a little harder on them and uh, kind of you know make sure if they don't practice they're gonna hear about it you know, right but um, and uh, I also have some older like professional um, or retired folks and you know a lot of them are coming to de-stress so we keep it fun we learn songs they want to learn and um, it's very you know low pressure you know if they can't practice one week I'm not gonna be you know Giving them, giving them heck or anything like right. that. So it's pretty cool. Um, and I enjoy working with those folks a lot, for sure. And, uh, especially the ones that want to play drums. Star Wars? Yeah, that's the no! one. Oh, Star Wars. Oh, <laughs> man. It's a close second to Battlefield Earth. Yeah. Well, before I... I might have just lost you, all the people who were watching. But <laughs> before they jump off, let's talk about your group lessons. You call it yeah. something pretty cool. What is it? So we do rock camp here at right. Ken Island Academy of Music. It doesn't have to be rock, but that's usually what it ends up being. Basically, we make a band, and um, I kind of coach the kids through their role in the band, whether it be guitar or bass or lead guitar or drums or singing or whatever. And um, we talk about stage presence. We talk about using effects pedals. So then at the end, we have a cool performance uh, open to the public, and it's always, it's always packed, and it's a fun time. Uh, we do it, uh, most recently we've been doing it at the new brewery, Cult Classic. And there'll be another one in spring, too, so, and then, of course, in summer. So, I'm also um, considering doing uh, just group lessons um, to try to keep costs down. And um, uh, there's a lot of things, especially in the, for beginners, that uh, I kind of am going over, you know, multiple times in one day sure. with each student. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like, uh, it seems like, um, it'd be nice to have a sort of a beginner group class and maybe an intermediate group class for like different topics. I can't let the people go without telling them about the amazing music you play. Now you're in a band, you play solo, there's duets, there's doubles, there's triples, <laughs> there's everything you're doing. Yeah, man. Tell the people all about it. Yeah, so it, it's, um, you know, I do a lot of solo work, duo work, like you said, full band. Uh, kind of depends on the, the time of year and the venue's needs, you know. Um, right. If you go to my website, uh, michaelwoski.com, you can see all the dates there, and um, it'll have a little description. Sometimes I also get hired by other bands to play lead guitar or, or right. whatever, you know, bass or something. So I write that in the description, so you kind of know what you're getting. Because if you just go by the dates, you might show up and I'm doing some, you know, playing bass instead of singing or whatever. So, um, but it's always good. I don't play with any junkie bands. Either, so <laughs> you'll you'll be entertained one way or the other. So if I asked you to play me the second fret on the E string, you think you could find that? Weren't there two E's? There's two. Oh. Very, very attentive, sir. Yeah, yes. buddy. <laughs> so pick, pick an E. You can pick whichever one you want. Oh, my gosh. Pro. Oh, man. It's moved me a little bit right now. I learned so much today, sitting down with Michael, talking about music and all the wonderful things he does. I'm going to show you what the Ken Island Academy of Music can teach you. You ready for this?